there is a company called Genomind that is really bringing innovation to mental health care and they're doing it through genetic testing and they say that genetic testing can help unlock what a body really needs to feel better faster and, and I'll tell you why in a few minutes. Uh, Sonia Mukherjee is their medical liaison and trains the doctors on how to use Genomind's testing. Sonia, talk to us a little bit about exactly what goes on with this assay and finding the genetic markers to customize the treatment. Sure, so the assay consists of 18 genes that have clinically replicated literature supporting their clinical significance. So it helps you understand the underlying pathology that's going on with the patient. Not every patient with depression has the same combination of genes or the same etiology as other patients with depression. So this helps you take an, a unique look at the individual and as Dr. Phil mentioned, develop the right cocktail of medications that will help treat that underlying pathology. There are genetic markers, and these are, I mean, they're like road signs. Uh, and they will tell you specifically um, which medications will help, which ones won't do anything, and which ones will make it actually worse. And this is, allows a, uh, this allows for customizing a, a treatment and eliminating a vast array of medications, right? Yeah, it really helps narrow down the trial and error approach, which is currently how, how we work in psychiatry. You try a medication, if that doesn't work, you switch to another one. You don't necessarily have any objective biomarkers to inform those treatment decisions. So this provides information on what's more likely to work, what's likely to cause adverse events so that you can avoid those medications, and ultimately leads to better response rates and outcomes for the patients. Yeah, and there's been great success with this on what disorder? We're talking about depression, schizophrenia? Yeah, it's relevant for patients with depression, ADHD, OCD, anxiety, um, schizophrenia, as well as chronic pain and substance abuse. And there's a lot of commonalities between those disorders, even though they have separate diagnoses and labels. A patient with depression may present with a lot of the same cognitive deficits that a patient with ADHD has. So looking at, at the neurobiology of the brain, can help you see those commonalities and, and target medications based on their mechanism of action to the underlying pathophysiology of that patient. We, we very much think that this evaluation, this assay should be done. And this is not a difficult or invasive thing to do, right? You can do this in what way? What do you have to That's collect correct. to it's do this? It's just a simple cheek swab. So it's, it's a Q-tip that comes in a kit, it's painless, very quick. You send the, the sample into the lab and within three to five days you'll have your results. And then the clinician will be able to look at the, the results and the medical history and come up with a more personalized treatment plan. So we're gonna take a lot of the guesswork out of that.